What's up guys, Sick Crazy here. Today I'm bringing you guys a Detroit, I for, forget what game mode it is, but I go 30 and 19. I want to say it's Team Deathmatch, but I'm not sure. So uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. Um, but anyway, today's video is High School Stories episode 32. Um, and today I'm just going to talk about some weird dreams I've had and um, a couple other things. Um, so first off, the weird dream. Okay, so I, I had like four dreams last night. And the weirdest one was, I had a dream that I was at school, and now at my school, my first period is gym, and it sucks. I hate it. Uh, it's first period gym every single day, and it's been like that since January. Um, so anyway, uh, the other day, we all op we opened the hatch to get to the roof, and we uh, climbed up to the roof, and a bunch of us took pictures and stuff like that. Um, so anyway... Um, this dream was that uh, I was having a normal day at school, a, a normal day, and then I, I got to school and climbed onto the roof, and then I got dared to uh, pull the fire alarm. Now, this is something I would never do in real life. Um, so anyway, I got dared to pull the fire alarm, and I... Um, so I did it because I didn't want to be like made fun of or anything. So I, I went down the, I went down that ladder and pulled it and then everybody slid down the ladder and ran outside. Um, now the fire alarms at our school have like the liquid that shoots out on your hand thingy. So I had like I, this was part of my dream and the, the the liquid shot out on my hand so they went around with a blue light or black light or whatever it's called and checked everybody's hands and they got to me and they checked my hand and they found the liquid. So they said, "Why'd you do it?" And uh I was like, I didn't do it. I was like, I, I ran by and I, I guess I must have touched it. And they, they've somehow, I somehow convinced them that I didn't do it. So, and of course I'm like shaking, and sweating a lot and stuff like that. So eventually I somehow convinced them that I, I didn't do it. And then uh, a couple days go by and they're investigating it and they're trying to figure out how, to, how they did it. And eventually I find out that there's a camera right there. So they would have been able to find out eventually that I actually did do it. So, I walked into the office, and I said, okay, I need to talk to you. And I said this to the student serv the, the assistant to the student services principal. Um, and she said, okay, what is it? And I said, can we please sit down in an office? And then she's like, uh-oh, what, what did you do? Now, real quick, uh, the back story. The student service, the uh, assistant to the assistant principal of student services in my school her daughter babysat me when I grew up, so I know her pretty well. Um, so she likes me. So then, anyway, in the dream, she goes, uh, "What did you? What did you do?" And then I was like, "Okay, I had a confession." And she's like, "Did you pull the fire alarm, didn't you?" And I said, "Yeah. How'd you know?" She said, "Well, we saw it on the cameras. We were about to call you down here." And I was like, "Okay. Well, can I tell you why?" And she said, "Yeah, sure." So I said. Well, when I was in gym, as soon as I walked in, I smelled something that smelled like food burning. So I didn't know what it was. And I asked a couple of the other guys if they smelled it, and they said, yeah, they smelled it. So I was like, okay, um, what should I do? And then I was like, okay, you know what, I'm going to go around and look, for the, look and see if there's smoke. So I got into the showers and there was smoke, or so I thought. Now... When the fire department came out, they did tell you that there was mist, right? And she said, yeah, there was, they said it was steam, not mist, but whatever. Um, I was like, okay, well, I mistook that as smoke because I smelled something burning. So I pulled the fire alarm because I thought something was burning. And she's like, okay, well, let's go tell this to the, um, the, the, the chief of the fire, like, which I, I don't understand why. The chief was doing the investigation, but anyway, so we had to do the. Uh, we had, we went to talk to the chief, and he he we explained it to him. He's like, okay, well you're still gonna have to go on trial and everything. And I'm like, I'm thinking, okay, no one died as a result of me pulling the fire alarm, and so why will I have to go on the trial on trial? Because if you guys don't know, if you pull a fire alarm and then there's another fire where somebody dies at that fire that that company should have been dispatched to, and you technically can be charged with manslaughter. Um, 
So anyway, I'm like, no one died as a result of me pulling the fire alarm, so why do I have to go on trial? Here it was wasting resource charges. Now, remember, this is all a dream, so uh, I'm just clearing that up again if you like started paying attention halfway through the video or something. Um, and anyway, so they say I have to go on trial. I hire this lawyer that helped my dad with some stuff. This is a real life lawyer that I'm talking about, so. Um, but I hired a real life lawyer and he's, he says, okay, well, your defense is good. You have pr video proof of the steam. Um, so maybe in, you have proof of yourself walking into the, the locker room or the showers. I mean, so he's like, you should be, you should be okay. So anyway, I go on trial and I'm standing there and there's a judge. And of course he's got one of the big powdered wigs and he's got his dress on and stuff like that. And I know I'm going to get hate for calling it a dress, but I don't know what it's called. So I'm just going to call it a dress. Um, so anyway, the, the, the judge is like sitting there and he's like listening to me tell the story and he's listening to my lawyer arguing my defense and then he's listening to the school's lawyer arguing my argue in my defense and then he's listening to the fire department's lawyer trying to convict me now I don't know why the school was on my side for this I guess it was because my, my the assistant to the principal of student services likes me now this is just such I, I know when I'm talking about this this is such a weird dream um, so anyway the judge keeps nodding and he and I start arguing, and then he bangs bangs the big hammer, and I think it's called a gavel. Um, so anyway, he bangs the gavel, and then I'm like, okay, I'm gonna calm down here, and I, I kind of let my emotions slip away, and oh, it, and then I eventually we the trial went on for like two months, and then um, they had to get like three different juries because of corruption in the jury or whatever, and. Eventually, the I was found guilt or innocent. Innocent. Um, I was found innocent on the one charge of pu of pulling the fire alarm, but guilty on a charge of like reckless endangerment or something like that. Um, so I had to do like six months in prison or something like that, in in juvie or something. I forget what it was. It and like and then the next dream was me in juvie and. I, I know myself, I would not be able to survive in juvie if I actually got sent to juvie. Um, because I'd panic and I'd miss home and stuff like that and, yeah, so, uh, I'm in juvie, I get in a bunch of fights and then I joined a prison gang, um, I believe, now, this is racist, but I, I believe I joined the Aryan Brotherhood, uh, which I don't even think I could join in real life because I'm Catholic and I don't think they like Catholics, but I'm not sure. Um, now this again is just a dream, uh, and I, I, in the dream I joined the Aryan Brotherhood, and I, I got I got my first kill and had to do like more like another year or something. I, somehow I got off with a year for a kill. I don't know, um, but yeah, I must have had really good lawyers in this dream. <laughs> um, so this is some of the stuff that I have dreamed. Like I. I I don't even know how to explain it, but it was just a weird dream, and just think about that, like, that's all in seven minutes, um, because an average dream is seven minutes, um, and, like, you, you just gotta think about that, like, you're in seven minutes, and that all that stuff happens, like, how, how does your brain, like, work that fast, I don't even know how to, like, say what I'm thinking, but, um, and how, how does your brain come up with some of this stuff, like, I know sometimes it's stuff you're thinking about and sometimes it's not, but like I, I don't get it. Um, I just think it's it, I think it's like so cool how it works. Um, uh, you guys might think I'm a loser for saying that, but it like it really is cool. Um, and I I just like that 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 was that dream like creeped me out because like. It just real, it was like so realistic on everything that happened, and I remember, I woke up in the middle of the night and I was sweating like this is a, I, I was I woke up right after the part where I was in juvie and stuff, um, and I was I woke up and I was sweating and I fell back asleep and I, I forget what my dream ended up being. Ooh, excuse me, um, but yeah, it, it's really really was a weird dream. Um,
And I know I keep saying that, but it, it honestly, like, it's something I would never even do, um, if I, like, in real life, so it, that's why it's, like, so weird to me, because, I mean, at school, I'm kind of, I'm not a goody-goody, but I just don't get caught doing anything, um, I mean, I goof around and stuff like that, and I don't, I, the only, I only really get yelled at for talking, and I'm not really talkative, so, but I, I don't, I don't usually get caught doing stuff that I should get in trouble for, but, um, that's just, like, it just makes, like, no sense to me that I had, like, a dream where I actually did something bad and got caught for it, and something like that bad, too, because, I mean, I know how annoying false alarms are, so I would never cause another fire department to go to a false alarm, um, but, like, I don't even know. It's just crazy to, to think about to me anyway. Um, and there's no pun intended on that. Um, but anyway, guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Comment, like, subscribe. Follow me on Twitter down in the description below. As always, guys, this has been Sick Crazy. Hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.